What's up guys, PC here and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be talking about RAID, specifically RAID 1 and RAID 0. And before starting this video, I should also mention that we are not going to be covering other configurations of RAID such as RAID 5, RAID 6 or RAID 10. So, you know what, I'm actually pretty sure that you have came across the term RAID before in some part of your life because if you have ever tried to store a chunk of data but it was not willing to pay a ton of cash for it, chances are that you have came across this before. And what basically RAID does is that it basically mirrors two or more disks to give you better performance, better reliability, and better redundancy. RAID stands for redundant array of inexpensive disks. And today I'm going to talk about RAID 0 and RAID 1. I actually have both RAID 1 and 0 configured in this com computer right now, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. Two disk you're seeing right here is basically configured in a RAID 0 configuration so uh, it basically mirrors the data and cracks it into half and stores both of those in two of the disks. This gives me a good performance bump and I should also mention that this is not as good as this SSD because SSDs are generally better but that's a topic for another video but ra this RAID 0 configuration is serving me well enough because it's gonna give me better performance but I do not uh, save my pictures or anything that I want to back up into this because uh, it practically cracks the data into two and mirrors it in both of the uh, drives so if in, in any case if one of the drives die, I'm practically going to lose the entirety of the data because the half of the data in the second drive is practically going to render it useless because without half of the first half of the data, it's practically useless. So if we come here, all right, so these two drives are actually configured in a RAID 1 configuration. So RAID 1 configuration, what it does is, is that when I save some data into this drive, it practically mirrors the same data into this drive. So it gives me better reliability and better redundancy. And I back up all of my photos, all of my videos into this one. Because if in any case scenario, if I lose this uh, drive, it's practically going to... It, it, it's, it shouldn't matter for me because I have the same data stored in this one and uh, if one of those dies I'm gonna have the entirety of the data, entirety of the usable data into the second drive. So yeah it, it definitely doesn't give me a better performance and sure I have to mention that I'm literally gonna get half of the storage, usable storage because I'm basically mirroring both of them. If I have one terabyte here, one terabyte here I mean, hypothetically, I should get two terabyte of usable storage, but since it's mirroring itself, I get only one terabyte of usable storage. So yeah, that's actually the price you pay for backing up your important data. And all right, I should also mention that even though it sounds like that RAID 1 is, is an absolute choice for you to back up your important stuff, I'm not going to recommend that because it is still immune to viruses and uh, other humanly dangers that can basically disrupt the entire redundancy area of that. Basically, if I burn this computer down right now, it is practically going to delete all of the data and I'm not going to be able to retrieve that. So it's definitely not not something that, not a place for you to back up your stuff. So yeah, yeah, I've tried my best to put in what I could into this video. So um, if you like this video, please just let me know in the comment section below and yeah, just let me know. Thanks for watching.